Kipling explores his, uh, goes back in and, oh, sees a beautifully uh, walnut dressing table desk. And uh, he rummages, to, oh, look at those coins. What a patina. Queen Victoria, look sternly, is uh, 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 imprinted into the metal. Would somebody like just take her out for a carriage ride? Put a smile on her face? I mean, some people know how to be queens and some down, huh? Well, old stamps from the British Raj, 1860s, 1870s. <gasps> I've landed in a Victorian time of everything is 350 years or younger up to about a couple of centuries ago. Antique. I, I, I'm in. I, everything's antique. Uh, yeah, I'm lost. Uh, I'm lost. This whole shit trawl's been lost for the last 350 years. After the British knew how to, yeah, keep, keep, keep your, uh, keep your troops off these people, or <laughs> bloodbath in the carver for you. We've done it three times. You want to go for four? Oh, the Russians did. Well, that makes four losers. Then the Americans win. <laughs> yeah, you see, there's a pattern here. Well, in the meantime, I mean, the, the, the marauding fresh oxygen molecules, they're pouring in from outside. They haven't been in the royal tomb, a throne tomb. for so many centuries, though. And uh, combined with Kipling's shout-out, Victorian Time Warp! <laughs> oh. King Sharif stirs to life. Well. King Sharif's puffy eyes slowly be open. And when he sees Kipling silhouetted in starlight, I mean, Venus is out. Some backlight there. Um, the king recognizes him as his dead twin brother and moans ecstatic, Latif. You have at last returned to me from the time warp. <sighs> at this incredulous moment, uh, a mystical epiphany becomes self-born within the heart of Kipling. His young and searching soul, he really is. Mm -hmm. We're talking DNA, cellular, genomic, chromosomic level of in the tissue meshed up level here. Labyrinth and tribal mansion is his true family home. Deja vu. Deep frozen in time too. With a mountain view. I'll take it. Kipling feels 100% home. Um, yeah, after nine months, lonely, wandering around the Orient, disoriented in Asia, searching for his, her, what, self, back roads, huh? Infamous Hashish Trail. A, a Chitrali genie guardian angel has apparently guided him home. And the resemblance between himself and King Sharif, uncanny. 
breathtaking. Thank God we got a little fresh air so we can even make the lungs go in and out. They do that 17,000 times a day. You don't really realize what a precious gift your life is. I mean, I have, my heart is beat more than 350. We're talking billion, three and a half billion times. Just I was born in Haight-Ashbury in 1947. God bless my 17-year-old mother on that. Huh? Yeah, run away from Michigan. Huh? Bang, bang, huh? 17-year-old boyfriend, my dad. Huh? He was, yeah, he knew what to do with her. Teenage tits. Um, obvious, supernatural evidence. Freaky? Kind of comes with the territory. Um, sandy hair. Oh, yeah. Aristocratic, Greek, classical nose. Mm -hmm. Identical. Gorgeous. Green eyes. Sandy hair, green eyes, out in the middle of the swarthy Persian. They stand out. Trembling with his enlightenment, uh, Kipling, uh, brazenly. I mean, boldly, just steps into this, uh, this new new trip, this new world. Yes, my king, I am Latif. Your twin brother. And I have returned to adore you again. Well, authentically, uh, recognized at last, Kipling gets down on his knees on the rotting cashmere carpet. Um, he has the cry of his lifetime. Yeah. Timeless, eternal brace. Lost brother. Melting hug. I mean, this gets so tantric, they don't know whose arms, butts, and legs belong to whom. It's just one big melted glob of love. And thus begins the legend of the man who would be Queen. So romantic, oh.